You promised her. Uh, Abigail is too busy for these wild goose chases, Vancho. She's not a child anymore. She has a town to take care of. Ah, you just don't want her chasing ghosts. <sighs> I love old maps. When I was a little girl, they always led to treasure. <laughs> they always make me feel more lost. My name's Lara, by the way. Pilar. You don't look like the type of tourists we usually get. I'm an archaeologist, actually. Uh, yes, that would be more fitting, I think. You should speak with Abigail. She knows the history of this place better than almost anyone. We've already met. Abby's been kind enough to let my friend and I stay with her while we're visiting. Ah. <laughs> well then, you are a welcomed guest in Kuakiaku. Thank you. Do you need help understanding the map? Uh, it wasn't meant for me to understand. <laughs> I have hidden the truth, as Abigail will find, but to uncover it, she must take a trip back in time. <laughs> Mariana was never much of a poet. <laughs> Mariana? Abigail's grandmother. We lost her to cancer one year ago today, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. Mariana wanted Abigail to have the map on the anniversary of her death, but... You're not sure? I don't know if she's ready. It's none of my business, but if it helps, Mariana believes she was. Ah. You're right. I guess it never was my decision, was it? Would you mind delivering the map to Abigail? You could make a full-time job of chasing that girl around. Oh, and my hips just won't have it. <laughs> Not at all. Abby, it's Lara. Are you still at the mission? Yeah, why? Where are you guys? Jonah's still there checking out the library. I'm back in Kwakiaku, sí. and I've come across an old map. And I'm the person you called because... Because the map belonged to your grandmother. Okay, I'm heading to the truck now. There's an old timer in the village, Diego. He runs the community garden. He's into old maps. Maybe he knows something. I'll meet you there.
on one side that looks to have been carved by hand. Interesting. The other edge is roughly broken, like it's been shattered. This is only a piece of something larger.
how are you making out? Almost had it. Whatever yeah. it is. You? Uh, look for a fragment of stone with a three-stepped edge. I found one here. I'm sure we're looking for two others. You're the expert. Dragon, this must be depicting Pachamama, the Incan goddess of motherhood, earth, and time. She presided over fertility, the harvest, and planting. Her body was the mountains, and she was also the cause of earthquakes. <laughs> this describes something nearby. I lie silent where arrows once flew. Guarding a door which will no longer open.
hand carved on one side. Broken on the other. Definitely part of something larger. It's almost from... Lara, I think I have one of those stone things here. I've got the others. Now what? Now we put them together and see what your grandmother is trying to tell you. Pilar understood Grandma better than anyone. Meet me at her place. Uh, I was hoping Abigail would be with you. She's on her way. Hi, Auntie. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's been too long, child. Oh, let me look at you. Hmm. Still with the short hair, I see. <clears throat> Auntie, we found something in Grandma's map. Actually, your hair could be better too, now that I see you again. The pair of you are like tomboys out chasing after. Auntie, please. Why did Grandma want me to have the map? I deserve to know. Hmm. Do you remember the stories your grandmother used to tell you as a child? About a magical, hidden place built by your ancestors? Yes, but I grew up and she grew old and nothing magical ever happened. 
but she didn't forget her promise. It's there, in your hands. Why now? I'm only the custodian of the map. It's up to you to discover its purpose. Abby, I'm sure whatever is revealed in this map will lead to that hidden place and your answers. I hope so. All right, let's take a look. If we place each one of the fragments on the map where they were found, like so... That's the Chakana, the Inca Cross. It represents the three levels of existence. The upper world, the middle world, our world, and the underworld. It also represents the things that make us human, like the ability to love, to take action, to gain wisdom. But if I'm remembering correctly, the center of the Chakana is said to represent Cusco, the capital of the Inca Empire. In the context of the map, we're hundreds of miles from there. Well, there are many interpretations of the Chacana. Um, Cusco, um, a portal from one world to the next. It is also said to be the Eye of God, a guardian keeping watch over us all. So what are we looking for? I mean, this has to point to something, right? Let's take a closer look. There has to be something we're not seeing. Something... There! I thought it was a small blemish when I first saw it, but in this light, it looks like a Maya hieroglyph. Maya? That doesn't make any sense. We are Inca. What does it say? Hahil. It means truth. Truth? Truth about what? I don't know. Does this place on the map mean anything to you? Grandma and I would sit there when she told me stories about the hidden place. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find your answers there. Are you ready? Keep the map. I'll meet you there. Watch out for Abigail, please. Keep her safe. We can't lose her. Todo el tiempo. Claro, tal vez la lluvia. See what I have to trade. How can I help How do you, you do? Lara? What are you looking for? Enjoy it. Come find me if you need anything else.
Abby, keep your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your ass in there. You can count on that. This architecture is definitely Maya. So strange. Why would my grandma want me to know about this place? To guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this scale, what would this pendulum prove Sorry, to reach I'm the wall be behind much help it? To you there. This pendulum could be moved to reach the wall behind it. This place, it's an ancient forge. What were they crawling? This pendulum could be moved to reach the wall behind it. If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this scale, this pendulum could Sorry, be moved to reach I'm the wall behind it.
There are statues here, huge faces arranged in a circle around the central column. They're watching over it like sentinels. But what are they guarding? These platforms have must have counterweights like the bridges. Now I kind of wish I came with Whoever was wearing this either had a splitting headache or they didn't leave at all. There must be another lever to activate the gas head. Platform should go back up. just up here. Need to 
go back down to bring the platform back up. Here lies the missing man from Porvenir, killed in self-defense by Mariana Ortiz. You will not find a body, but this note instead. When I found him out, he attacked me, so I hit him on the head. It was his greed, not me, which made him dead. I'm sorry for his family that will never... Abby, I found a note. It was written by your grandmother. She confesses to killing a man to protect herself and the village. She calls him the missing man from Paul Veneer. Does that mean anything to you? I remember when I was a little kid, there... There was a search. One of the workers disappeared. I never found him. Shortly after that, the last of the oil dried up and... I don't think she had a choice. Seismic imaging results, 25th of November, 1983. Massive oil fields beneath the village. I have conducted a physical examination of area and can confirm this to be the case. Recommend full drill. to reach that path.
petals will be useful to reach that path. Sweet Abigail, it is time you learned the truth about your past and your responsibility for the future. You are a guardian, Abigail, as I was, as my mother was before me and hers before her, and so on and so on. All the way back to the time of Queen Abarane, the mother of multitudes. Centuries ago, she led my people from the dry death of the great drought in Guatemala to the safety of this valley. On her deathbed, she chose a guardian from her line, and the response of- I've got your grandmother's gem. The switch should be just up here. You, you can't leave me hanging like that. Go on, what does it say? The short of it, you're a descendant of the Maya Queen Abarane on your grandmother's side. You're the latest in a long line of protectors that- What? Queen Abarane? Grandma is related to a Maya Queen? Wait, I'm related to a Maya queen. <laughs> yes, you're a guardian from what your grandmother said. It's all here. What does that mean? I, I'm not even Maya. I... This day has gotten way too heavy. Bilar's got a lot of explaining to do. Abby, I found a mural depicting a great journey. It shows a great journey south, from Mexico to Peru. Thousands of people following their queen, escaping mass- A Maya- Queen leading thousands of her people from Mexico to Peru. Why did she lead them here? <laughs> there are many theories about what happened to the Maya. There are old favorites, invasion, civil war, collapsing trade routes. But one theory has become very popular that the Maya civilization was ultimately doomed by a period of severe climate change. She was probably leading them out of a decades-long drought. So, where'd they all go? <laughs> Exactly like a coffin. I thought it was a forge. 
Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose. the hidden place it was a forge but something more as well yes it is the resting place of the maya queen abarane the first guardian of kuakyaku she built the forge to construct an artifact of great power what artifact uh, i don't know Mariana told me that what was born from that place had long been lost. But she said the message it contained would always endure. It was a message of hope for the future. If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I made a promise to Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? Abarrane's bloodline has been diluted over the centuries, but you are descended from her. So what does this mean? You're a guardian, Abigail. Like Mariana and her mother before her, all the way back to the time of Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... You've been protecting this village for years. Hasn't a little bit of you always known? Felt, compelled, somehow. You are the keeper of the story now. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story, to keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was, and then I'd be the keeper of its story. She didn't forget her promise. She just had a different way of showing you. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. <sighs> I loved your grandmother as if she was my own sister. But sometimes she was a gigantic pain in the ass. Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here, I want you to have this for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you.